Bonjour! Hi! Welcome to this recorded live session from Twitch. It will be a very long video, that's why I put timestamp in the description so you could skip to the part that interests you. Also, if you want exactly when I'm streaming, go visit twitch.tv slash fbucheros. But for now, let's watch this session. Bonjour! Hi! Welcome to the stream! Welcome, everybody! I'm Frank Boucher, your host, and for the next two hours, guess what? It's Friday, so I don't have that song like, it's Friday, Friday. But uh, for the next two hours, we'll have a lot of fun because we'll be coding on the project Blind 2021, that text-based adventure game that I started to work with you. Um, very simple, just kind of having fun. Right now we're at the basic, but we're reaching a point where soon we'll be able to add AI and really funky stuff in the uh, the game. Uh, what can I say? Let's get started. So, let me share my screen. I was just creating a new task for you guys because and that's this task here it will be super we'll, we'll talk about it later when more people are are there but uh, I have a task for you I need your help so we'll get back to it so right now what I want to do is let me just quickly show the project so the project in it's in, available in github its name project dover in github because it was created by kevin griffin but i rename it kind of i hijack the project rename it blind 2021 because it's a like in that game you're blind and you have go, go, glasses goggles that will talk to you and explain to you what they see and everything and those goggles will have some kind of personality uh, but that will work on that when we'll be adding the AI part right now we are more at the core functionality so you know navigation we have now navigation is kind of not bad uh, we can interact a little bit with the uh, end like different rooms uh, take an object and then the status of the room change the you have an inventory rooms have also an inventory and last stream we did use a database so for now I'm using Mongo and because I didn't want to install Mongo on my PC I let me know if the music is is too loud I'm just I feel like it might be too loud. Maybe it's just funny. Uh, yeah, so I'm running in a Docker container and also um i want to add more information in the github project how to get started where to get things i think i put those thoughts very quickly and now i want like hey you know if what do you need if uh, you want to start the project collaborate because i really want you to collaborate with me and that's uh where i need your help um, so I want different things. Uh, you see me working a lot in Git Kraken, the glow board, kind of a Kanban board. I love that tool. Uh, so I created also an online version. So I want to make it more obvious. So like the work status board is able to this link here. So if you click, you will see the board there and it's publicly available. If you want to collaborate, I could add you as a contributor on that team so you could move card and, and stuff like that but read only it's available for everyone or it should 
So if it's not, let me know. Now let's talk about the game. So like I said, the goal of today, I have two goals. I would like to be able to load a map from a file because right now, you know, it's by iteration. So when we created the game, there's a room manager and like by code we added all the rooms. I would like to extract that, clean up a little bit the, those things and also be able to uh, load a map from a file. We could definitely save it also. Um, yeah, I think I think loading a map from a file would be cool. And the database will be used for the save game. So if you're you know loading a save game name, I'm loading a map, but that you alter. So I'm assuming now what I want to do like here I say load map or save game so I'm assuming like one of the tasks I want is like load a new game kind of thing start new game so if you start a new game then it means I'm loading from a file and if you load a save game then I'm going to the database so we want that dialogue today and I want to be able to do that and what I would like you to help me to is create maps that would be cool I would love to see your maps and like it could be very very interesting see what you can do with it uh, like you know what our character where he could travel and things like that that could be very very funny of course keep it PG <laughs> For everyone but uh, yeah like it's just one file so I think it's pretty easy to uh, to do it will be cool to uh, to see what you can build so let me show you briefly so th those this file is the note of the stream if you're new on the stream every stream I keep tracks of everything that is happening not everything it's not true Frank don't lie don't lie Frank in my github project i have a stream project here and i keep track of all the projects by project and also if you go in journal you have all the stream and you can see what you know if you go back in a different project let's say like last time we did work on blind 2021 this is the summary but usually I put the URL here, I don't know, I forgot. You have all the timestamp for different things. And if you have new followers, if you raid, bunch of stuff, uh, everything is noted there. So anyway, so I keep track of that. So sometimes it's very useful. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is our game. Um, right now, today, I'm uh, running on Windows. I, I used to be working on Linux. I want to go back in Linux, but right now I'm in between where uh, my VMs are not running properly um, because they are an um, Hyper-V and like it's complicated. I need to change that. I will get there soon. Um, though, like it doesn't matter because I'm the project is in .NET Core, so it runs on Linux and Windows. In fact, everywhere. So yeah, so the game is very simple. Let's start it. I'm in Visual Studio Code. You could run it from um, Visual Studio IDE if you want the full fledged. And it's very a text-based game. So I I don't have any um, ASCII art at the beginning. That would be also a very interesting if you have that talent or if you just want to add some kind of cool effect, do that. I may work on that uh, during the holidays, but uh, honestly, I think I will try to... Usually, the for me, the holidays, I try to disconnect a little bit. So anyway, so text-based adventure game. So hey, Bradley, extremely love home. Uh, there's trees, flowers, and blah blah blah. And now you could go to the exit. You could type the full word, or you could type just the first letter. So let's go. 
north so now we are inside Brady's house and if I go again south so going out again then we'll see that it's crashing <laughs> fantastic why I think I know why because I changed this let's stop did a quick change this morning and I didn't do it correctly so let's fix that let's start again I was poking around yesterday evening and I did that is it running did it fail Okay, so blah, blah, blah. we go in and now if we go out, now we see that the description is not showing anymore because we already saw that room. Um, so I only show the name. If we want to see more, we can type look. And now we have all the, uh, the description again. I think L is also doing the same thing. So that's cool. So now we could go in different rooms. So let's go east. And now we have a cozy living room, uh, not world. There's a mirror, a flashlight on a table. And so now if we go, for example, inventory, I think if I type, well, let's go with the full thing, inventory. Now my inventory is empty. So I could take the flashlight And now the flashlight is not anymore in the room. The flashlight is on my inventory. So now if I type inventory, the player inventory contain a flashlight. Player, right now I don't have any uh, character creation. So that's why it's just player. Also, if we say look now, we see that the description of the room has changed now there's a table but there's no more flashlight in the description so that thing happened also if we type x for status um there's key event that are listed so right now the only key event i have kind of a demo right now this map is kind of just a uh how do you call that like a tech uh proof whatever um so i found we found a flashlight it's a key event uh, and we have one, <laughs> whoops, 150% <laughs> of the map cover. Pretty good, but there's something wrong there. You know what, let's fix that. I don't know why it's not, it's like this. So you know what, let's fix that. I, so one thing I did yesterday just to have fun is I tried to load from a save game and that's probably why I'm having that error. So where is map coverage? It will be in room manager. So here I just, you know, put some stuff quickly here. We'll, we'll get to it later. Let's go in room coverage to understand why map coverage, I mean. So let's put a breakpoint and let's try again. So how many rooms I have? Four. Is it two? One, 
two, three, four. Yes, I have four room. That's that's correct. So let's go next. Six. How can you have? Oh, because. I did come back and oh the problem is every time like right now every time I go from a room to the other room I had a plus one I think but that's the problem so where is So, current room description. So, oh yeah, because I said look, even after, um, oh that's that's a bug, that's a bug. Hmm. So let's do uh, if here. That should fix the problem, right? So if the room like we never saw it then we saw it we visit plus one and then we return the room if you already saw the room and you just want to look at it then I won't increment that we'll just you know show you the description that should fix her that should fix her percentage let's try again Doing demos of the game is good. Catch error. So let's do a look again. So now let's go south. Let's look again. And now have X. Did I put a breakpoint? Yeah, I put a breakpoint. So four. Now oh, that's two makes sense cool so let's remove the breakpoint let's remove the breakpoint here and play fifty percent of the map that's better so now if I go north and then east then I say X and see now I, I don't have any oh hey good morning return to the dust Return to dust, how are you? Happy to see you. Any big plans for the holidays? I should turn off my notification. Sorry off, excellent. Um, uh, I wanna quit. Excellent. Okay, cool. So let me show you what I did change. So we can start working on something. So what I did is in the room manager, we are already in the room manager. I comment all that section here because I did I I, you know, I I just want to remove all that code. Have family visiting. We are hosting her at our own this year. Oh, cool. Um. <laughs> ah, thank you, thank you. 
Did you see the, the, the video too? Yeah, I took way too long to um, to wrote that article. It was like it was 90% done and then I needed to go to China and over there over there it was I tried to to do it but like in the plane like that's a very long flight it's a, it was 14 hours to go and 13 to come back but you need to be online and you know because doing the the screen caption and things like that and like I want to validate my script is working and everything so uh, I it, was, it took me like forever to finish it uh, well like it's the same kind of story though in the article I put a little bit more logic in it where I pass the the app name to the um, to the XAML but I would like to have something where in the XAML because usually I have a suffix at the end so that I'm sure the name is unique but then in the app when you're trying to deploy the github action need to know like what's the name that was generated so i need to add that step and that step but at the same time i want to keep it very simple so like you know if it if it's your first get action or like if you're not familiar with arm template things are kind of smooth and easy but in a real case scenario that would be better though yeah i'm in montreal yeah, I think so. so you know, could be of a, you know improving the, your first GitHub action. Like, let's work on that. <laughs> I'm so happy I I increased the size of the text for the chat, and now I can see everything. It's awesome. Okay, so uh, I was really looking forward to move out this map creation here, right? All the code. I was really looking forward to remove that. So what I did yesterday was very simple. I just hacked my way to the code tempor temporary, uh, just by you know serializing the room that it's, it's in fact is uh, a variables declare on top is just a list of room, and then I I put it in the file, and right now what I do is I load from this file. So this is the generated file. I put it in the uh, new folder I created called data. And I will be super cool. And like, if you feel free, uh, like if you like, uh, I will be happy uh, return to dust. If like, if you're willing to create a file and do a pull request in the, the project, I would love to have a bunch of different maps. That would be cool for like community, community maps. Uh, you know, use this as an example and you could create a, a little map. Doesn't need to be huge, but that would be pretty cool. Anyway, so that's a thing. So now the, pro the plan of today is have adding a dialogue, say, hey, do you wanna start a new game or load a save game? If you say new game, we load the map. So we need to have it probably in the settings or maybe we could have some kind of options so maybe in the settings we have a collections and we say oh which one you want to well that, that could be next next thing i would like to have yeah let's keep it simple so for today if you say new we load from that if you say load then we go in the database uh, and, and we need to be able to load and save the game from the database. And right now the database is in, um, it's Mongo. I had a blank, <laughs> MongoDB. So let's get started. So I think now, since we have the file, we could remove that, but we need to add a dialogue first. So, not sure how I will do that. I'm assuming it will be in program. So here, game session and command parser. If I go in game session, what happened in game session?
game session as a room manager, so we will load the, the thing. Okay. So, we need to add a, dial a dialogue first, and we'll pass probably a parameter to game session. Say new or load or something like that. Also, we should have a setting. Well, let's let's add it when we get there. But yeah, okay. So let's let's close a few things here that I don't need anymore. So I think room manager will need it. Game session will need it. Programs definitely, and we'll keep that one open. So program is it big enough in in the screen? I can put it bigger. Boom. I like. I don't like when I'm on. I'm watching a stream and like, ah, oh, what are you doing? I can't see. Oh, you know what? I can. I could share also the code, like uh, having a live shared. Let's do that. It's been a while since I, I try. Should be read only hopefully so you can load the code in your screen if you want okay so I think before loading this we need some kind of dialogue say hey or we should have like a welcome like we should have something say welcome what do you want to do Let's let's add like a, some kind of function here. So right now we are in main. Let's add something. Uh, yeah, let's add. Oh, wow. so, that's the one. So let's add. Um, let's add an introduction function. to be a little bit retro retro look okay so um, okay 
So now what we want to do is start the process of loading. So probably intro should return something. Game type or game mode? Game type, right? Okay, he created... file let's call it game type Should change the the namespace. So now here I think like we should check in the database or if there's a database yeah because maybe you're just coding and you don't even have a database so if you don't have a database then you could still play the game but like you cannot save <clears throat> so we could just have something like hey check the the database and I think right now I don't have any wrapping like in room manager it was just yeah and the, even the connection is is right there so we need also to uh, to put that in some settings so much stuff to do. Um, I 
I have there. Why I'm not using it? What? Where'd that come from? Oh, he did the parser. Oh, yeah, it's true. I'm using it all the time. Just for that, oh, we should have a parser, right? Let's do it. See,
Did he again? Oh, we did. Or? Okay. Cool, so we have a save game. So now we can load the game. We can have a result. Okay, so, but we need to check. Yeah. Great, so in program. Now this and now we'll be able to do
Not sure how I will manage the, like, you know, if you enter, blah, blah. Uh, probably at the beginning in the introduction, I should do a loop, like, until, while you don't understand something, I like, that makes sense? I don't know. So now what I need to do is check if there's a save games, if there's a database. So I need to, to load, check in the settings because right now I'm not using the settings. So let's, I don't know how to do to, to do that. Maybe it sounds silly, but I don't know. I know what in web but I'm not sure with a console application how to do it must be very very similar Though at the beginning, I think that there it was nothing like you needed to load just like a file, right? Configuration builder. It's the way. Okay, let's try. Let's try that. Really? 
Is it still like that in .NET? Do you know? Chat? Like, do we still need to add all those packages manually? Or like now it's... I look that way, don't I? I would, yeah, like, it's using the... Hey, Nick, how are you? You have five, 15 PRs waiting for you. <laughs> Lucky you. Uh, you can send me one if you want. Like I was just saying at the beginning of the stream, right now we will be low. Like we'll be saving and loading the the map for the game from a file, from a flat file, a JSON file, and I will provide an example when I will pop push that. Uh, there, it's a JSON file. So uh, like anybody that would like to create a, a new map for the game. Like, feel free to, to do it. I would be very cool. I would be very interesting. Oh, yeah, for you? <laughs> no, no, I mean PR for the game. <laughs> just use that as an example and create the map you want, and we'll be using it. Okay, apparently I need to add another... Package, let's do this. Nope. At Jason file, it doesn't have that. That's even older than the previous one.
Everybody's doing the same thing. What I'm doing wrong? Well, let's go in the duck. Should have start extension configuration. Cool. No, default configuration, security. Let's. I don't want to read everything. It's one word. Eh? What I'm missing? <laughs> Jason Configuration Provider JSON file. Well, it's configuration builder.
Okay, for now, let's forget about this. Um. <clears throat> like to have some kind of a plan of today was just loading so new game or save game here we're just like hey you want to start a new game or load the game cool so here introduction return the type game and now in this we'll pass the game type so let's go in game session we'll receive a game type Let's do If the game type is load, we'll do something, right? And else we'll do the other thing. I think we should just pass the uh, should we because that like right now I only save the game but yeah like I should save it's just because I don't have any save game sure if that's the good way to do it because in room manager
think I will pass the the game type in the room manager. But if I have a save game, like everything will be loaded from the save game. What if I don't have a save game? You understand what I mean? Like if if I'm loading a new game, if it's a new game, then like in game session, like I will have a new idea. I will load the game from the file. New inventory will be empty. List of in key is empty. So like it's a brand new, say so it's the new one. But if I'm loading a game, the game already have an idea already have the map and everything is saved in the database so this is different Because what I save right now in the database was just the rooms. So my save game is not clean clean yet. So... Let's do that for now, but we'll need to customize everything here. Let's focus on the new for now. <laughs> That will also need to be in the settings. I don't know. I will need to clarify how to use the settings. 
I know there's it's better than at the beginning but um, I'm confused how to, to use the settings it should be trivial Did I? Ah, uh, didn't. Is it create map? No, oh, here I was writing, so it should be save map here. <laughs> should be rules equal that how to do it it's already a list convert the uh, iMongo collection So I could have done that. No. Oh, maps. Frank, come on. should be save map. Yeah. 
What do you think? What do you think, chat? Everybody is quiet today. You let me suffer. You let me suffer, guys. Come on. What would be really, really cool, so I will be publishing all that code at the end of the stream to my GitHub repo. I'll put again the URL in the chat. So I'll put all that thing in GitHub and I want to add, like, usually in the holidays for me, it's disconnected mode. Um, but I think I will try to add more content in the GitHub to make it clearer for you to use it. But what I would like, I would love to have you guys creating maps. So I will have in the folder data of this project a sample called rooms.json. I would be super nice if you could create your own map, like do a big map, a little map, I don't care, like a map. Put it in a folder and I should do that right away. Um, and just do a PR. That would be cool. And I'll, I'll, like on uh, the next stream, I'll have a bunch of maps and we could explore your maps. And, you know, that would be nice. And it will be a little bit of coll collaborative, collaborative project. And I think right now just creating a map is kind of easy. It's just a JSON file and you have some sample here with different things. So what I will do here is I will just put the map name. So let's say uh, Brady's house. So Brady. House. And move this here. Come on. Come on. Oh, because it's open, maybe. Oh, because I create a file. No, I don't want a file. Delete. Create a folder. There it is. Now I create this excellent nope it's not in move in yes excellent so you create that and you could add your uh, map also like if you want like on paper uh, you know draw a picture of the map if you want so like you could have a bunch of files and uh, yeah that would be cool and then when we have some app settings configure, we could just change that or even just having something that loads all the maps and say, hey, what map do you want to load? That would be cool. So right now I should change my thing here in room manager because now it's not loading from the good path. So I need to change it for now. Hey! Writing with, okay, wow, that's cool. Let's wait a little bit. Well, welcome, FR33 means. Welcome on the stream. Welcome all the with all your 14 followers. Oh, excellent! So welcome everyone. Free men, free men. Oh yeah, free men. You're right. Excellent. Well, welcome to the stream. Like, that's excellent. Let me... From France. So, vous parlez tous français? C'est excellent. So, I speak English, but I very... I'm fluent. Not fluent, but... Uh, yeah, I'm fluent. I'm fluent bilingual. Let's say it that way. Lourd. Yes, I'm from Quebec. 
Je peux parler français sans trop d'accent. Mais euh, alors, si je fais ça, je vais perdre beaucoup de mon monde. I was just saying that I could speak French, but then I will lost a lot of you guys. So I will stay in English. But, you know, if you're uncomfortable uh, asking a question in English, write it in French in the chat and I will, uh, I will do it that way. Thanks for, and I just missed the following. So thanks for the follow. Um, well, Freeman, thanks for the follow. Thanks for the, ra the, the raid. Uh, online, thank, thanks for the follow. Uh, Sylvain62, thanks for the follow. It's about, yes, 10.30 in the morning. That's my, for me, I'm a morning guy, so that's my treat of the week. That's... I'm working in a text-based adventure game, and let you know since you're new, let me do a quick tour of the uh, the project. So it is a project. It's available in GitHub. So that's the project. It's called the project name in GitHub is Project Over because it was created by Kevin Griffin. Uh, he started the project, worked maybe two hours on it, and then like didn't have the time to work. On it, so I kind of take that project, and I'm working from my branch, and I renamed it Blind 2021 because the goal is to have it's a text-based adventure game, you know, old game. I will do a quick demo just after if we have something that works because we might be in the middle of something. But you explore uh, right now. The the map I have is a house. And it's the house of one of the PM on uh, .NET Core. So uh, you 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 walk in the in the house and you you can you know have some interaction with the the maps and stuff like that. But you're blind. So eventually, because we're not there yet, you will have some glasses like HoloLens or something like that, smart glasses that will talk to you, and will add some AI in the glasses. So I want to add some AI. So even like if you say, take the flashlight or grab the flashlight or take the light, you know, whatever, the the glasses, uh, the game will understand what you mean and act accordingly. And also if it's the, the third time you ask, hey, what's the room look like? Your glasses will, you know, that will, come on, like, it's been three times I'm, I'm telling you, like, you know what it is, or something like that. You know, I want to add some personality in those uh, goggles. So that's the plan of it. Um, we had a few things in the project, so... If I can run the game, I think, let me just put this, because I just changed the path. And I know I saw some activity in the chat, I just want to finish the tour, and I will then read the chat because I like to stay up to date with you guys so what was the again the name of my Braddy's home I think right Braddy's house Braddy's house So hopefully everything works. Robert Table, welcome. C sharp, excellent. Like maybe then uh, Wumf, uh, Wumfy, Wuna, Wumf if. You can help me because earlier I was trying to um, to have some settings and app settings, and I, I like I know things evolve, and it was like I I quickly search, you know I Google with Bing, <laughs> I Bing with Google, and I I didn't like I don't know like for me it was not simple to um, because this is a console application I'm more used to do web stuff. Um, so uh, I couldn't have the save thing. So that's why right now I have the string here. And uh, the, even like everything is hard coded, like the connection string to the database in a Docker container, Mr. Rubber Table. You can be proud of me. 
I didn't want to install MongoDB, so I put it in a Docker container. Mm-hmm. I did that. But right now it's not running. And I, I don't want... Like, if people want to play the game, I want them to be able to play, but then they won't be able to save it because the game save in a database. Because eventually, I want to put that game in the cloud, of course. You know, I'm the cloud guy. Uh, so I want multiple... Uh, save game and and everything but now we are just at the beginning so chat 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 well see you uh, mr freeman see you later thanks for the raid um Oh, the reason why I'm using vs code that's an excellent question uh thanks uh um, yeah if Sorry, I'm sure I'm killing your name. Uh, the reason why I'm running in VS Code instead of the Visual Studio IDE is just because when I started that project, um, I was on Linux. And right now I'm on Windows, but it's temporary. Uh, I like to walk the talk and use Linux to validate and feel the pain of any tool or UI that is not working correctly. Um, and I like Linux, but right now my Linux VM is in Hyper-V and the tool I was using to remote desktop in it like that with my clipboards and everything uh, and the stretching uh, is not working very well and I don't want to work in Ubuntu, it was working in another distro so uh, that's why, but the project itself you could open it in um, Visual Studio IDE. There's a solution in the project. Where is it? Where it is? Solution here, Project Dover. You can see that right behind my head. So Project Dover solution, it's there. When Kevin created the project, he created with the big Visual but the, like, yeah, Visual Studio uh, IDE. So it should be flawless for everyone. Yes, Docker, and this is water. I already have a big cafe latte this morning. <laughs> yeah, so it worked in both. Uh, so let's let's see if uh, I didn't broke everything, and let's try to run the game. So I will show you what we have right now, but apparently... Oh yeah. So we're working this morning. I'm just trying to hack my way now. Huh? So I was trying today to add some save game. So that's what I'm I'm working. And right now, uh, the plan is, and you know, so like since now we are 20 on the chat, let me uh, re, uh, re say it again. Let's put it that way. Like there's another word iteration. Let's reiterate. I'm not sure how to say that in English. Um, like if it's a new game, when you start a game, the game should ask you now, uh, do you want to play a new game or do you want to start a game? If you say new, it will load the game from a JSON file. That's the JSON file and it's here in data. And then you have a folder with your uh, maps name and inside you have rooms.json or whatever file will we'll standardize that later. But I would like you, if you're interested, to create a map and do a PR. That would be super cool. And uh, on the next stream, I will be able to, you know, switch map and, and things like that. That would be very nice. Um, right now, it's just a quick demo I put together. So, and sorry for the dog that is barking. But, uh, yeah, that would be cool. Like, I would love to have maps from you guys. What's the error? 
Give me just one sec. Daisy. Say two. Say two. Bunch of questions. Okay, so yeah. Water, vodka. Yeah, at 10.30. No. <laughs> um, no, I don't think the game was intended to be multiplayer. I just want it in the cloud so everybody can play without having to install anything. Um, that's why I want to put it in the cloud and it doesn't need to, I think. Maybe we'll have like multiple kind of deployment. Um, I don't know, like like every, like right now it's a console application, so I put it whatever I want. Um, but yeah. The map is black, right? Just data? Yeah, it's just text. It's a JSON document right now. That's the map. Um, and that's why I put the full, like that's why I create in the structure, in the data, that's why I put a structure right now is Braddy's house because that's the name of, like, like it was just kidding. When uh, the first map was created by Kevin, he created like two rooms, I added more. And Braddy was, uh, is a PM of .NET and he was on the chat, on the stream when Kevin was working on that and uh, like it was just you know kidding having fun teasing his buddy so uh, that's why but now why was not working I didn't read so did I do a typo or something Braddy's house hey thanks for the following Bruno Capueno Let's put back this problems. Retrieve. That's fine. So why was not working? Okay, because it needs to be static. Oh, okay. But then if I do this, you will complain that the other thing is not introduction. Now why should I? An object reference is required for the non-static field method property program introduction. Ah, because the method introduction is not static. Oh yeah, of course. Hey, Hell Bruno. Oh yeah, but the the subscription was uh, I didn't even know you were uh, watching the stream. I just saw the notification because you subscribe and it's on YouTube. <laughs> oh cool, it's working. So this is like this is the new experience, guys. So when you start the game you have this here, so welcome to Blind 2021, and now it's asking you uh, what you want to do, like start a new game or load a save game. So right now, we should only select new game because we didn't implement the rest. So let's, you could type uh, new, n or one, so let's put one, and it's working, cool. So outside, right, so now what it did, it did load from the file and if we like the the plan is when you type 
to or load the game, then it will go in the database. But since I just added the database last time, it was my first time with MongoDB, I did like just pick the rooms, but not like the full game setup. So I don't have your inventory and stuff like that. So we need to work on that. Maybe not today because I see the time fly and uh, and yeah, I need I have a very hard break in 15 minutes or well, like 16 minutes. Yes, it's uh, it's C sharp. It's C sharp. Um. Uh, I use uh, MongoDB right now because it was a JSON document that was uh, using. And for me also, it was to try different things. I like to try, like I, I like to go outside my comfort zone, doing that code now and try to, it's been a while since I, I did like real project. It's a lot of proof of concept that I'm doing. So like going in the fine details, it's a good for me uh, to get back to the code and learn more. Uh, I didn't know Mongo. I want to learn Mongo for a while, so that's why I use Mongo. It's a JSON document I thought was good. And if I go in the cloud, I could still use Mongo uh, in a container as a service or switch to Cosmo DB on Azure. That was the plan. Well, like I'm not using the cloud right now, like everything is local. The container, though, is not working, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's nothing. That works sorry okay so that's we are in the the, the rooms uh, the starting room so Brady's is extremely lovely home blah 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 so now we can go north so if we go north we could type north or we could type just N and now we are inside the house uh, and we have the description and now there's three exit south east and west if we go south we go back where we come from so let's go there just to show you something. And I'll see it's outside Brad's house, but we don't see the description anymore. And that's one feature. So the room, you've seen the room. And if you want to know again the description, you could type look, and now we have the description. So let's go back in north, and now let's go east for fun. So now we are in a nice cozy living room and on the north wall, north wall there's a mirror and there's a flashlight on a table in the middle of the room. So now what we can do is take the flashlight. So that's one action we add. So take flashlight. So now the flashlight is removed from the living room and it's add in the player inventory. Um, so now we have something. I could show inventory and our player inventory contain the flashlight so I have the flashlight in my inventory and now if I do look again to see the description we could see that the description is different see here it was a mirror and a table in a room and here it was a flashlight on a table so now the description of the room has changed because you interact with it. So we implement that a little while ago. Uh, another thing that we implement is the status. I'm not sure. I, I know it X, but I think it's status. Nope. Let's put X because I don't remember exactly. So when you type X, I should check in the uh, command to know exactly what, like all the commands and we should have uh, something that lists also the commands. Um, so there's the summary. So we have what I called key event. So key event are, I don't know, like you beat the bus, you find the key or like, you know, the key event in the game. So right now I have only one and it's you found the flashlight. So that's the list of our summary. Oh yeah, because I want to use the key event to summarize the game. So when you start the game, I want the game to tell you, oh, so you find a flashlight, you cover this area, you did that, you did this, you're there. I want the game to tell you a summary, a little bit when you're when watching a TV show and they say, in the previous episode, and you have a, like a very condensed summary, I want the game to build that summary based on the key event. So that's why I add key event. 
uh, and then like I had a, a map coverage so you've seen 65% of the map and you are in the living room so that's what we have right now and I to quit you go quit so what do you think chat is it a good game do you think you could do a map It's a beginning. We we work only a few hours on that, so it's just for fun. Uh, so let's see what was the command for. If I go in command command parser, oh summary. Yeah, why status summary is to get the summary. Cool. Yeah, I will publish the code in a few minutes. Um, in fact, I should start wrapping up my stuff. So let's let's do that. Uh, but yeah, so feel free. I will be like super trail if someone can create maps. That will be so cool. And I think it's not complicated. Like you could see. Like, let's have a look to the the object. So you know, a room like a maps is a collection of room rooms. Sorry, there's an ID. There's a name. So that's the thing that will be displayed all the time. The description is the uh the first time i'm displaying the the room i will show that the potential description that's um i think so potential description is when you interact then they will have trigger and it will um for example here when you take an item that will be that will trigger the thing so here when you take the flashlight, that will trigger the no flashlight. So the trigger will go in potential description and change the current description for the potential description matching that trigger. Uh, exit, it's kind of, you, you specify direction, uh, target room, uh, if it's lockable or if, if it's locked. Right now, I didn't implement anything yet to manage that. Uh, so right now if you if you would like to have a lock room and we need to find the key or something like that right now uh, we'll be able to enter in the uh, the room i don't think we implement anything yet to lock the room so you cannot enter but uh, that's a thing we need to add also if the room has items in it so the room have a, an inventory. An inventory has a name. So you could enter the name you want. And then you enter a bunch of items. Items have, again, a name, description, has seen description, but it should be false. Um, could have triggers for key event and stuff like that. Uh, eventually we'll add more to rooms and items like status or condition so i don't know like maybe you found a flashlight but there's no battery or uh, maybe you broke something or i don't know like we'll, we'll add more but we're just at the beginning and it's my first game so i'm learning so if you feel free to uh suggest uh, blah, 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 to do some suggestions if you think you you have better ideas Hey, Copper Birdie, how are you, my friend? <laughs> Copper, Copper Birdie, you just need to do it. I'm accepting PR, you know that, right? Okay, so uh, let's push that. And I think we could, uh, I think, oh, you know what? I 
I will need to keep it in the add MongoDB though. So I will push it. So um, let's do here. So by the way, there's a. I'm using Git Kraken Kanban board. And uh, like there's a like on the GitHub project, there's a board there. You could see what we are working on and stuff like that. So right now we are still working on the uh, save system because right now I save the room, but I don't save the game. So that's why we'll keep it in that branch. Um, I was paying uh, my subscription, but now I'm an um, ambassador of uh, get kraken so they provide me a license and i when i they gave me one license i say you know what i already pay for my license let me give it back that license to my uh, community and they told me you know what we'll provide you another subscription so you could give away the subscription to uh, someone in your uh, community but uh, use our subscription so I don't pay right now for the Git Kraken uh, stuff, but I still have like one year of subscription that is already pay uh, because I like that tool. And like, I think if you're working on open source project, it's free. If you're a student, it's super cheap or like it, there's a program. I think uh, Copper Birdie, you're aware of that. You always remember me that uh, pro student program. Um, it's not very expensive. So anyway. So. So we'll push. There it is. Let me. So. The map, if you wanna have an example of the map, it's in there. So like I say, if you wanna create a map, I will be super happy. Just add a folder inside the folder data. Give it a name. Like if it's the castle of uh, Wolfenstein, if it's the uh, park of uh, uh, Yellowknife, whatever you want, uh, and put a JSON file that respect the same schema. I didn't have yet a schema. We'll build that maybe later to help, or like maybe we'll have like a map designer or something. Um, but yeah, so just you need to do that. Yeah, Wolfenstein. That was a cool game, but then it. Oh, like did you play the first one or the new one? If you play the first one, mate, you may cheat. <laughs> you may cheat your uh, the old one. Yeah, it's nice. Before, well, at the same time as Wolfenstein came out, I was I created the game um, on Mac. And it was, I was using, what was the language again? HyperTalk, I think. And it was the same idea, but uh, like if it was for a contest, um, and it, it needs to be edu uh, like educational. So it was the uh, adventure of uh, Jacques Cartier. Jacques Cartier is the, the guy in the exploration who's discovered the uh, Amerique. So it was the uh, Jacques Cartier aventure, and uh, we had some fight. It was random. Uh, we had some puzzle maps, exploration, like uh, kind of a labyrinth, uh, maze, maze thing. It was nice. Anyway. So guys, let's find someone uh, to raid because I really, like I said, need to go. So who's... Uh, oh, TBG Gamer is, um, is right now is uh, available so we'll go see see him so let me switch back to this view here open a new file run the credits so again thank you all for joining me today this morning at least for me uh, I think it 
it's probably the my last stream of the week uh, of the the year because uh, during the holiday I tend to go uh, offline, no tech, just read, chill, see the family, the real people. But uh, I I don't know. But I think yeah, I think it's it will be the last stream of the the year. But coming back next year with your maps, I'm expecting a bunch of PRs. <laughs> Have fun, and uh, you know what. See you on next year. Bye-bye.